Hey, what's up you guys? I'm Sarah Lebrat and today I got an email from Masterclass that they had a new class going live and that it was taught by none other than N.K. Jemison. It was the title of this email that caught my attention because N.K. Jemison is teaching fantasy and science fiction writing. And do you want to guess what genres I write? That is right, I write fantasy and science fiction, and so I thought that I would go through, watch the entire masterclass, kind of take notes on it, kind of vlog my experience going through all four hours of lessons, and then giving my thoughts on it at the end as a fantasy and science fiction writer. If you go on to enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up because it really supports my channel. And if you wanna see more like it from me, make sure you remember to hit that big red subscribe button down below. And now, without further ado, let's get into taking N.K. Jemison's masterclass. I think I was like any child who reads science fiction and fantasy, imagining myself going into space and, and doing cool space stuff. Books were the only way that I could see myself in space. When I began my career as a writer, people were upfront with me about how hard it would be. What I don't think people said to me is that if you were legit good, if you work and hone your craft, you will eventually break in because you're a good writer. If you aren't good yet, work hard, get better, and then keep trying, and you will eventually make it. I agree with that wholeheartedly. If something is good, it is going to get noticed eventually. So in the first episode of this masterclass, N.K. Jemison does say that if you think the next step for you is publishing, this class will be good for you. And guess what? I'm still in the editing phase and stuff, but I'm trying to move towards publication. And so I feel like this could be really well-timed. Hopefully, we're, we're very hopeful of that. And it looks like the first like several episodes are all about world building, which I am a huge sucker for world building. So I'm very excited to hear what she has to say. If you suffer for your art, that doesn't mean your audience has to as well. She's now kind of touching on the differences between micro and macro world building and how to deal with existing cliches in fantasy and science fiction and kind of make sure that you're not doing the same things as other people. But she said something really cool that I want to highlight and that is that world building is a tool to detach the reader from their own experiences. I thought that was cool. And then it looks like the next episode is actually an exercise and so I'm going to pull out some paper and follow along with what she's talking about. I just completed the first exercise. At least I'm saying it's the first. It might, there might be more, there might not be more. I'm honestly not sure, but she kind of had us us, me sitting here watching this masterclass, sketch out a world because she's talking about building a world from like planet up. I thought that this was interesting. I have made maps before. I love making maps for my fictional worlds. So I have maps. And while I have like thought about what certain areas of the continent are like as far as their weather goes and basically what the land is like there and like kind of like what storms they get and stuff. And while I've thought a lot about like where forests are, where the mountains are, where deserts are, I did not think so far as wind and water currents. That was fascinating. And so I kind of sketched out another version of my map, the one that I made a couple years ago, and I was kind of just drawing like wind and water patterns around it. And I think overall my map does actually follow some of these Rules, which I think is really interesting. But something else that she mentioned was that like the winds and storms can affect many, many other things. And one of the things she mentioned was architecture. That was fascinating to me. Like, oh my gosh, like, of course it would. But that's not something I've thought about until now. So far, I'm actually absolutely adoring this masterclass. I've only gotten through three of the 16 lessons so far, but I'm enjoying it. I just finished another episode where she talked about cultural appropriation and writing marginalized groups and kind of how to <laughs> not culturally appropriate. And I'm honestly very impressed with how articulate she is. I have never heard these topics described in such a succinct way that I'm like very impressed by it. I have been absolutely blown away by this so far and in other master classes that I've tried to start watching I have not wanted to keep watching in the same way that I want to keep watching this one. The truth of the matter though is that what the audience believes is what matters. The writer is the one who sells the plausibility of whatever imaginary thing that they're trying to convey. Your job is to speak the truth about the world as you see it. I am now about two hours into the class which means I'm at about the half halfway point and the last couple of things that she's been discussing is research in psychology and she strongly encouraged taking trips 
for research if that's something that like fits into your story. And that supposedly if you take a trip for research, you can write it off on your taxes. And like, I'm definitely gonna have to look into that because if that is in any way, shape or form true, I am 100% gonna capitalize on that. It's also very interesting to hear her start talking about psychology because she has like a history of like 20 years in psychology. And it's just like a very different take because she knows so deeply what she's talking about. I'm still very, very impressed with this masterclass. I have now gotten through the world building and the characterization portions of N.K. Jemisin's masterclass. And now it looks like the last three or four lessons are all about the actual process of publishing your book, seeking publication, trying to find a literary agent, and surviving the literary marketplace, which is all things that I feel like I need to hear right now. So we'll see what she has to say about it. I want to warn people at this point that we're going to do real talk here and it's possibly going to be discouraging. It may be intimidating or uncomfortable. And we'll talk positively about, you know, the, the benefits too. But, you know, I'm not, I'm not trying to sell you on the thing here. I'm actually trying to do the opposite. I just got through the three lessons on publishing and she started out saying that she was going to like spit some truth and like, I got a little worried for a second because I do think of myself as fairly well versed in traditional publishing considering that I have not yet been traditionally published, but I've done a lot of research on the topic. But after she said that, I got a little concerned, not gonna lie. But everything she said, I was like mostly already aware of. She did have some really good advice on how to approach finding an agent, kind of like some of the pros and cons of traditional publishing versus self-publishing and kind of just staying realistic with the whole process because it is a very, very long process. And so I think she had some really wonderful things to say. And as a science fiction and fantasy writer, she was talking about some science fiction and fantasy specific publishing tips and kind of like organizations that you can use for information, places that you should like scam check through and stuff. And so that I thought was very, very well done. And I'm happy that I watched those three lessons, which brings me to her last lesson, which is called writing while marginalized. I have now officially finished watching all 16 lessons of N.K. Jemisin's masterclass. However, there is an accompanying 34 page PDF that kind of goes along and talks a little bit more in depth about a couple of the topics included in the masterclass. So that is what I'm gonna work on reading through now because I was not really reading it as I went along. Alrighty, I have now finished watching all four hours of lessons for N.K. Jemisin's science fiction and fantasy masterclass, and I have finished looking over like the PDF of the class that comes with it, but it's also kind of a standalone because it's not blaringly obvious which part of the PDF goes like to which lesson, like it can kind of be looked at on its own almost. So now that I have finished all of that, I wanted to share some of my final thoughts and my thoughts of this PDF and kind of like highlight a couple of the things that I learned and just kind of like talk through this experience. The first thing I want to point out is that this is indeed the first masterclass that I've actually watched all the way through. I've started several, but I like lose focus. Even on the writing ones, they just seem to like not quite be it, like every single lesson. And so I have like jumped around in several and watched like a couple lessons here and a couple lessons there, kind of just like on the topic that I'm interested in, but I actually did watch every single lesson of this one, which I thought personally was interesting. I kind of like that she talked about like three primary things, and that was world building, publishing in whatever form that may be, and marginalized characters and or being marginalized as an author, and kind of like how you can fight the status quo almost, and the latter of which I thought she handled really, really well. And again, I'm gonna say she was incredibly articulate and like politically correct and knew like exactly exactly what to say and how to say it. I was very impressed by her. As far as the content within the masterclass, there were a couple of things that jumped out at me and a couple of those things kind of made me look at my own projects a little bit differently than I had before. Again, because she was so incredibly articulate, but she did say a couple of things that I wanna point out. And the first one is that she says, your fictional world is a context, not a contract. As you refine your narrative, embrace your revisions. And I kind of liked that idea of like an evolving world as you 
go throughout writing and the process and the drafts and the revising. It was just like a very good reminder that like things might keep changing and that is okay. Something that she mentioned when she was talking about pitching your book to an agent was that your title is the first hook. I guess like intrinsically knew that, but like when she said it, I was like, you know, that's a really good point. And then something else that I thought was really important that she said was that there is no right age to start publishing. Writing is one of the very cool fields, I'm gonna call it, where like you can really publish at any age and be I'm gonna say entirely socially acceptable. I'm gonna compare this to like gymnastics. However unfortunate it may be, gymnasts have a timeline and dancers have a timeline, but writing really can be done at like any point in one's life, which I thought was like a great reminder that like, even though I push myself to like try and get a book ready to be published, which I'm <laughs> still working on, that like there really is no right or wrong timeline. And it really is all about what is right for you and your books. One of the main areas that the PDF actually kind of branched away from her masterclass was actually in talking about her own writing routine. And I am a sucker for writing routines. And I love hearing about other people's writing routines, but I thought it was interesting that she said that when she's really in a groove, she does about 1,500 words a day. But when she's in deadline mode, she does about 3,000 words a day. Which like, considering that when she's like in the groove, she does 1,500 and when she's on deadline, she's doing double that. I thought that was crazy. I did think it was really nice that she added that she does not write every day. If she is sick, tired, or stressed, or overall just not in a good headspace, she's found that it's more valuable to not write that day than to write badly. And then in parentheses, it says, which then I'll have to spend extra time fixing or deleting and replacing with better writing. So my thoughts on N.K. Jemisin's masterclass overall were that she was incredibly good at phrasing things in a way that makes me think about things I thought I already knew, or at least to like some extent, where I felt like I was like learning new and information or at least learning it slightly differently that it will actually benefit me in the future. It also kind of gave me ideas on how to potentially start coming up with story ideas in the future. Not that I necessarily need any new ones right now because I'm working with plenty but I'm also always down for a new story idea. And she kind of broke down like how to come up with story ideas and one of the things that she talked about when talking about world building and building from like planet level up and then kind of using that technique to pick the characters within that that would have the most interesting stories to tell with whatever was going on I found very fascinating. I would say that the biggest thing that I learned while taking this masterclass was about how to write diverse characters without culturally appropriating. I know that sounds really bad but again I feel like N.K. Jemisin just articulated it so well and she explained it in a better way than I've ever heard anybody do previous to this at least in my personal experience and so if you are interested interested in character diversity and learning to write characters in like an interesting and not overplayed way, I would highly recommend this masterclass. That is definitely my biggest takeaway from this was that chunk of lessons. Overall, I'm very happy that I decided to do this masterclass and I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, I would really appreciate you giving this video a big thumbs up because it really supports my channel by telling the YouTube algorithm that you like my video and that someone else might too. If you're new here and want to see more videos like this from me, make sure you scroll down below, hit that bigger subscribe button and that little notification bell next to it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Sarah Lebrat and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!